Number 57. Calculate the ionization constant for each of the following acids or bases from the ionization constant of its conjugate base or conjugate acid. Then we have letter D out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to find the ionization constant of CH32NH2+. The first thing is, is this an acid or a base? Now generally, if you do see positive charges, these are going to be acidic. Because if you gain hydrogens, you always gain them as plus ones to your charge. It always comes as an H plus. So the more positive you are, the more acidic you will be. So this would be classified as an acid. And because of that, we would be finding out the Ka value, A for acid. So that's the ionization constant, the Ka. So I went to the back of the textbook and I found the corresponding conjugate base. Remember, going from acid to base, you drop one of your hydrogens. So this two would just drop to a one. And that has a Kb value of 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. So in essence, all we have to do is just convert a Kb into a Ka value. Any formulas that are coming to mind, there's one of them, and that's this one right here. Kw equals Ka times Kb. Now if we're solving for a Ka, we want to get Ka by itself. So in essence, we would divide on both sides by Kb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that immediately just for the simplicity of the video. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to make a division sign over here. I'm going to bring the Kb down. And now we have a nice, well-rounded equation. So we have the Kb, that's 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth, and all of these values in the back of the textbook is always at room temp. So we should memorize the Kw at room temperature. It's probably the only Kw that you have to uh, memorize at room temp, and that's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, or just one, or 10 to the negative 14th. Doesn't matter to me. So let's plug in these numbers. So we have 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, divided by the 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth, and then we will get the corresponding Ka value. So let's see, calculate out. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. Two sig figs, if anyone cares, 1.7 times 10 to the negative 11th. And there you go. That would be the corresponding Ka value, the ionization constant for the acid. That's it. I think there's one more question, letter E, out of this number. So hang tight. We will get to it in a little bit. Um, I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.